Oh, stole it. <laughs> Left my bloody van in gear. In today's Van Life Scotland adventure, I show you more of the amazing scenery and landscapes that Scotland has to offer. And also show you the real reality of van life problems whilst on the road. We've run out of gas. No. Can you smell it? Oh, oh that's close. Whoa, 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 Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, yeah, Make sure to hit subscribe to continue watching this road trip of the NC500 and van life in Scotland. Excuse me, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Can I have chocolate chips? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Could have a bottle of piss though. So we start off this video on, excuse my horrendous pronunciation, Balcanal Beach or Blackenell Beach. I'll put the name of the beach on the screen. But we're here in a town of Durness on the north coast on the NC500. And today, I think, is all about the landscapes and the beaches. is producing some of the best weather I've ever seen in my life. Charlie the lunatic, I think he just loves the ocean. He's gone for another dip. Fantastic. Right, the plan of action today is to continue on the north coast. I'd love to show you and tell you exactly where we're going, but we haven't had any phone signal here, so to be honest, I don't know. We're going to keep driving until we get some phone signal. There's a few really nice beaches that we drove past yesterday, which we would have loved to have parked up at. But unfortunately, all of those parking areas were fully taken. So we'll probably head back there, check out some of those beaches, and also go to a pretty famous place. Well, I think it's pretty famous. Well known anyway. A place called Coco Mountain, which apparently they do a banging hot chocolate. So we'll go there, warm up, get a hot chocolate stroll around, check out some of the beaches, and continue the NC500. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a big queue for this Coco Mountain, so it must be highly, highly recommended. Oh, somebody's just taken the bloody spot. Mr. Flippin' Coco Mountain, you cost an arm and a leg, nine pound for a bar of chocolate, a small hot chocolate, and a chocolate brownie. I couldn't resist the brownie. It claims the best hot chocolate. It's been recommended by lots and lots and lots of people. The best, that's a big statement. It's good hot chocolate, don't get me wrong. It is nice, but, I mean, I don't know how good a hot chocolate can really get. This is what I'm more looking forward to. The brownie, which I can't lie, looks a bit dry. I'm definitely not gonna start getting into food reviews and all that. My face probably says it all, doesn't it? That's probably my mistake. I'm not a huge fan of coconut. Ah, should have got the rocky road. So where we're going is meant to be a 10 out of 10 stunning viewpoint. But because of the weather, it's not looking great. Charlie just showed me a picture on the old Google images. Look like turquoise, blue water, lovely cliff faces. What a nice little camp spot this is. It's lovely. But we're too stingy to pay for those. Scotland's just showing off now. I think I prefer this beach to the one earlier, just because I love kind of the cove area and the rocks and the way it feels a little bit more enclosed and more private. Definitely recommend that one. Sango Bay viewpoint. And if you come here, hopefully you get better weather than we did. Even with the dodgy weather, it still looked absolutely stunning. Well, the good thing about Durness is everything is very close together. That was literally like a two minute drive from the viewpoint we were just at. 
and now we've just parked at the Smoo Cave Viewpoint Parking. Let's go, taking a stroll down to Smoo Cave. Oh God, try not to trip over, see what it's like. Check it out. It's highly recommended though on the NC500. So I'll let you know if it's worth visiting or not. That's pretty cool. They do a tour here, just to give you a bit of factual advice and some knowledge of the area. They do a tour, don't know how much it is, but I got told, don't do the tour. Just come here for free and walk in and check it out yourself. Definitely worth a visit. Very, very busy. Not a big uh, viewing platform back there, but well worth the trip for sure, especially because there's so much stuff in Durness to come and visit. It's all close together. Right, some lunch on the road. Chef Willy Armo coming out. Gonna cook up some tortellini for the guys because we're hungry. So all right, we're just topping up the water for our pasta. Could be here a while. Right, time to put the pasta on the ball. Get the tortellini in, love. Shoes off. We don't like dirty shoes in this house. Got the old portable gas over. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Let that water simmer, boil for 10 to 15 minutes. Then we'll trap the tortellini. We'll come right back to you. In the car park. Our time in the north is done. Oh, stole it. <laughs> Left my bloody van in gear. <laughs> oh, I'm a smooth criminal. This drive is stunning though. You'll constantly be driving through these locks and these mountain rocky areas. It's awesome and it just seems to go on forever. Excuse me, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Can I have chocolate chips? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Can I have a bottle of piss though? <laughs> <laughs> well done, baby. This should do the job. Let me show you exactly where we are. Not a bad spot. There's nobody here actually, and surprisingly, there's not too many places on park for night. Are those deer over there? Look. Where? Or hare. Can you see or not? No, I can see deer here. Oh, I think they're deer. I'm not going to be able to show you on this lens because it's not a zoom lens. Oh, wow. What a view. Oh, nice. Look at this. I'm like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> oh, mate. Hell of a view. Just this weather. The Scotland Highlands, up your game. Probably can't see, but there's a couple of deer just over there on top of the hill. Here we are. All tucked away. Nicely. What's this one called where we are? Uh, Ascent Viewpoint. You heard it first. We're at a place <laughs> called Ascent Viewpoint. You can find it on Park for Night. It wasn't too difficult to find, so... If you stay here, it's a nice little spot. This is the first park up so far where we've arrived and we're the first ones here, which is good because there's a few other vans that have popped up just around us. So I think we grabbed the best spot for this evening. You've got a little pop-up VW, I think that is. I'm not exactly sure. And then what looks like a little bit of a stealth Citroen going on. She's gonna blow, <laughs> take her off. We've run out of gas, which yeah. Charlie was expecting would happen well, sooner rather than later. Any day really, so. But he's never changed the gas tank, so we're either gonna go kaboom, and you never see this video. <laughs> yeah, that ain't coming out of shit. That's been literally been in there all winter. So you know it's always tighty righty, lefty loosey. Yeah. On a gas tank, it's opposite. It's left to Tighten. loosen or tighter, yeah, the opposite way to normal. So. No, what, we've got to figure that. Right, we have gas bottles on the boat. We have them on the boat, yeah, so oh, we have right. to change them all the time. Righty left. tighty. No, so that's left. So I'm going this way. You're pushing it away from you, yeah. Fucking, okay, that's just going to be stuck on there, man. <laughs> We're not getting <laughs> this off tonight, 100%.
This has been on here for a year since I bought it, since I bought the van. A bit of raw pasta and a bit of raw zucchini for dinner it is. <laughs> Oh, there you go. go. That's got to be closed. Can you smell it? Don't fart near the gas. It's like a bloody episode of Breaking Bad, isn't it? <laughs> Don't put a lighter on. <laughs> Let's see if we're cooking with gas now. Hey, you see what I did there? You know cooking what? with gas. Don't you worry, mate. Got a carbon monoxide lamp is on. Here we go. Look there that. we go. Easy as you like, mate. Back in the game. I'm going to head off to bed. Pretty tired now. It was a good dinner. We've just washed up and tidied up. We'll wait and see what tomorrow brings because at this current moment in time, we don't really have a plan. We're just kind of making it up each day, finding things and making up the itinerary as we go along. Morning. I've just woken up and the leak is back. That patch there and there's a bit of water on the top of the bin is coming through somewhere up here. This was something that I thought I fixed when I was with Carl, but then I realized a few days later, actually the leak was still coming through. And then I thought maybe it was from the Max Air fan when I installed that. But anyway, I resealed the fan before I left. Thankfully it's not too big and it's probably not something I'm gonna have to worry about on this trip, but it's something that I need to fix before I can do anything else on the van. You can see why it's coming through because it's another glorious 30 degree day in Scotland. I know if there was clear blue skies around here, the views would be incredible. But nothing I can do about it, apart from pray to the weather gods. rolling hills everywhere you look weird rock formations the clouds the mist it is a very very dramatic landscape around here we got a bit of a traffic jam up ahead because I think there's two motorhomes trying to get past yeah they're quite narrow roads these ones oh whoa she's a neck there's a motorhome coming. These roads are so windy as well. Let's go. Oh, what gear am I in there? Come on. Come on, Mary. Get up the hill, girl. Oh, yeah, if you don't know, decided to call the van Mary because of the number plate. Cheers. She's got some power to her, Mary. It's just sometimes I struggle to find the right gear. Oh, come on, Lauren, don't stop there. I do love roads like this to be fair though. <laughs> They're just good fun to drive down and, and try and figure out how to let people pass and just slowly meander your way up the side of the mountain. I realise I need a girlfriend because trying to change camera angles whilst driving on these roads is obviously pretty dangerous. Now I need to adjust the exposure. Oh god. Anybody that complains about me putting ads in the videos. This is why. It's not easy filming all this stuff, especially when you're alone. Oh God. Oh, oh. 
shit! Oh shit! Oh Christ! I don't like this! I don't like this! Just having to reverse back to let a car through. Almost went straight back into the back of Charlie and Lauren. Oh, this is so difficult trying to show you all of this. Oh God, she's still coming back, is she? That'll be all right. Drum bag. Oh. oh, they're having to reverse. That's all I'm having to reverse. Oh God, it's a freaking nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's close. This reverse camera's a lifesaver. Whoa, 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 Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Chill, 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 chill. I think the most scenic drive I've ever done was in Canada, but Scotland really isn't too far from that. Well, welcome to the car park of Ack Melvick Bay. We're gonna go for a quick stroll, check it out, and see what it has to offer. This weather is deflating all of us. Hopefully it's not deflating you watching. I'm well aware that sometimes I come across like the most depressing, sad person ever, complaining all the time. I'm a bit conscious of that. I think anyone would be a bit cheesed off, not cheesed off, or just disappointed, should I say, that when you come to a country like Scotland, you obviously, you wanna see the views. You wanna see the beaches, you wanna see the mountains in the best, in the best in the best conditions that you can sorry this video this specific one has probably been more about the rain and the driving but we're gonna head to Ullapool because we think there might be a place where we can have a free shower and then yeah we'll go from there find a pub I don't really know the current situation we pulled into Ullapool we stopped and got ourselves some fish and chips and we're on the hunt for a campsite. I've rung around about three or four different places. All of them were fully booked, but I just called up one called Broomfield Holiday Park and they said they might have some availability. So currently in the queue while I'm chowing down my fish and chips, which is delicious. It'll be nice to stay at a campsite tonight. One, because we need an electric hookup and it's been what, two to three days since we last had a shower and we need to empty toilets. So a campsite, will be nice. I don't know if this is wrong or right, or it happened by accident. You can't see because I finished one piece, but in my box of fish and chips, I got given two pieces of a decent size pieces of fish. Is that a normal thing in Scotland to give somebody that much fish? If it is, I'm not complaining because it might be one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. Right, I'm going in. Mask, I need a mask. <gasps> Back in a second. Yeah, yeah boy. Sorted. Sorry. Eighteen pounds. Non-electric hookup. Um, I'm next to Charlie and Lauren still, who are going electric hookup. They paid twenty-three pounds for that. So we're in. Charlie's just parking up their van there. There's the electric hookup for them, so they're going to have to run the cable over the road, which is what the lady said. For anybody interested, this is Broomfield Holiday Park. And I just checked with the lady and she said it's first come, first serve, which is good for us because we're relatively early for once. And it means we can get sorted for tonight, recharge everything, can brush my teeth properly, I can shower, I can scrub me old. Please get warm, please. I feel like a new man. Fresh, clean, smelling, divine. I'll tell you what, doing this kind of stuff on the road for a few days, you really do appreciate the simple things like a hot shower. We're gonna get super fancy right now. I might even put a bit of aftershave on because why not? You never know, could be a few sexy senoritas in this campsite tonight. So, 
you've always got to be on form and look your best. Ah, oh, it's nice to be chilling in bed early, nicely clean and warm. I know there's probably been a lot of driving in this one, a lot of moaning, a lot of talking, a lot of complaining. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give the video a like. If you're new to the channel and you want to hear more complaining, if you want to see more Scotland adventures, more drone shots, more stealth camps, more van builds, more laughs with other van people, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. Peace out. So, as I said, I'm taking applications for girlfriends now. Send me an email, will at willswhereabouts.com. Put the title as girlfriend application. Let me know if you're any good with the camera because God, that would make filming things like this so much easier.